everybody. It's your boy Bryce with The Real Squad here. And I just wanted to give my quick, quick thoughts of the new trailer they dropped for the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. And I'm a, I'm a lightweight fan. Like, I'm a huge fan of the movies. You know what I'm saying? I have some of the memorabilia. Of course, I got the, the ring itself. Come on, man. I don't know if y'all can even get a good... Hold on, dog. Because y'all think I'm playing. Let me see if I can get a good... How, how good can we get that? Come on, man. Come on, man. I thought this was a game. So when they came out with the trailer, um, I obviously heard and listened to all the controversy going around. And like I said, I just wanted to share my, my two cents. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the movies. I did read The Hobbit, the book, the first one. Um, but I never, like, just delved into all the books. So it's stuff that I still don't know, that I have no idea about, such as The Second Age, which this series is supposed to be taking place during. And from what I know, all the information I gathered, long story short, Amazon purchased Lord of the Rings, but not the entirety of Lord of the Rings story, just some parts. And the part that they did purchase has a little bit of the second age in it, but not all of it, to the point where they, they're they going to have to make some stuff up. And that is where I feel like most of the controversy is coming. And me just being a, a, a viewer, like I said, I'm not super involved in the lore. Like I, just, like I said, I love the movies, everything about the movies, I love it. In the Hobbit book, I love it. So it is some things that obviously going to stick out to me. And so in the movie, I'll try to bring the clip up if I can, but one of the dwarves say, you can't tell dwarf men and women apart. We all look the same. It is very actually very rare to find a dwarf woman. We all got beards and everything. It's true you don't see many dwarf women. And in fact, they are so alike in voice and appearance <laughs> that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. The and this in turn has given rise to the belief that there are no dwarf women. And so there is a scene in the trailer where you see a black dwarf, a female one too, no beard, nothing. That's an obvious, obvious black dwarf. Now the story could be, she's not just a dwarf. Maybe she's half dwarf, half human, or whatever, elf, whatever. But the simple fact that they already have that in the trailer and she's black so i feel like they're using that as representation as well it kind of throws you off a little bit like that i'm a, i've been a huge fan of this stuff like i always been able to relate and feel represented in the in the movies like even with star wars it's, it's, it was never a moment in time where i saw something or I was, i have been a fan of something and said like, man, I wish these people were black. It never that never was the that never was something I said. I always was a fan of the story and the heroes the heroes journeys arc. Like that's been my thing. Like I I never really never thought or considered my color being an issue. Like I said, and I always felt like I have been represented on television as far as movies, TV shows, and whatnot. And growing up uh, in the '90s and stuff like that. But which brings me to my point, uh, I have kids and I have a son and I remember when he was about eight, this is no lie, my son is 14 now, but when he was about eight, when we had like a movie day and out of nowhere, like I said, he'd been with me all day, he said, are there any movies or superheroes with black boys? I'm like, wow, you know, like I never thought or even, I just never tripped off of it. And so this new generation is a little different, I'll say that, because it, it must be a huge thing with the new generation. Uh, I had conversations with friends of mine about being fans of different things and if they ever felt like they weren't represented. And like I said, it, that, that, that idea never popped in our head. Like, we are, we're a fan of the show or the movie. Like, it's something, obviously, that we connected with. I love Frodo, you know what I'm saying? Every character in there I pretty much love. So it's somebody you can connect with, and it's not always about race at all. 
um, for example, like The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. This is it's a bunch of different races and creatures and stuff like that. And but it's fantasy. It's not a part of our world. Like Star Wars, you have aliens, creatures, just all this different type of stuff. But it's fantasy. So it's all when you go into this stuff. Per, me personally, I want to forget about this, the reality of what I, which I live in. I want to be in the world of the Hobbit, you know what I'm saying, fighting orcs and stuff like that in my head. I don't want to be worrying about anything that has to do with my reality, you know. That's just me personally. And I'm not, like, attacking anything or anybody. I'm just saying that there is definitely two different sides to this, what's going on right now as far as you have your hardcore fans who aren't feeling it, and you have your casual fans, which is, I, I'm definitely kind of, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say I'm not feeling it, but it didn't pull me in like this did. I'm going to watch the show, but w I'm not getting that same feeling I got with this Lord of the Rings. So, like, I'm going to keep it 100, I'm going to review it and everything, but I got to be honest. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, and I, I, I like how representation is more acceptable but i've always been on the side of yes it should be more representation but make sure you hire somebody because they're great at the job not just because of the color of their skin i want to be like if you were to hire me to do something i want you to hire me because you believe in me and you think i can do the job not because you need to fill in the spot for a black guy because that can be really degrading. But yeah, that, that's just my little small little piece I wanted to drop on there. I don't want to go too far in depth in it. I am excited for the series to come out. I want to see what they do. Um, like I said, I'm not a big lore head. But maybe after the series comes out, I will become even more enthralled in it. And maybe just go ahead and get the books for myself and see what happens in the first age and the second age and stuff like that. But you guys let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about it. Is representation a problem for you do you like it um being politically correct all all the stuff that's going on in the world just let me know comment below appreciate you guys for coming through it's been real with the real squad i'm going to take this ring back to mordor and destroy it <laughs> all right y'all peace